Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet, approaching Soviet airspace. Arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you, too? Hmm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuban. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that. The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells? I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. 
So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes, preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volgan is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volgan as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Never mind the fact that she completely owned us last time. Yeah, I'm sure we'll do better this time. Going to be helping us. The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites <laughs> so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volgan's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. Speed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. I 
I freaking love these cutscenes. Oh my god. Oh. One week later, we're back in the jungle. He sure had to recover quickly from his uh, ordeal. But it's night time now. This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake. Let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I oh, must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency uh. is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. Yeah, 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 we know, we and know. there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Mm -hmm. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. 
I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. No Understood. pressure then. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Oh man, no pressure. But they, you know, they could get us a pistol, but they couldn't give us a freaking silencer for it. And also, I think guys, uh... Oh, it's not quite yet. Okay, cool. Um, there's a bit coming up soon that in order to avoid an alert, you have to leave an area really quickly. But we don't need to worry about that just yet. Um, so yeah, we don't actually have our stun gun anymore. But we do have a pistol. So we could shoot this snake, but I'm actually going to knife it. And we have stun grenades as well. Oh, maybe we could stun the, stun the snake with a stun grenade. That'd be mean. But then again, knifing it isn't much kinder. Alright, so that snake is not alive, obviously, so it will spoil eventually, but at least we have some food. Uh, what is moving in this grass? It's really, really nice at night time, though. Look at, the, look at the sky. Oh, some fruit in the trees. I feel like Bob Ross talking about goddamn nature. <laughs> We're on a, a mission to, like, murder a Gru Colonel. Um, is it a bird in this grass, or what? Sometimes the grass moves and you're like, there's nothing here, man. But no. Okay, so uh, this is Operation Snake Eater, guys. Over, I can't remember exactly where we've started out. What's this? Is that just a piece of... Oh. Oh, we got some styptic. Oh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, guys. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a doctor. Another snake. Oh, I think I know where we are now. I think I know where we are. Maybe. I can get some mushrooms. They won't spoil. At least I don't think they do. They shouldn't do. <laughs> uh, right. You know what we're going to do, actually, before we get too far ahead of ourselves? I want to talk to this sigint chap. Yo! You're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am THE expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Uh, modest. Uh, I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detect. All the things we don't have right now. anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Well, that was brief, but we've said hello, so that's that's cool. We don't want to be rude. Um, actually, do we have that stuff on us? Is it just in our backpack? Oh, well, we do have the, uh, the motion sensor stuff. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, that is that isn't. No, sorry. I I thought maybe that was the trank gun, but no, we don't we don't have it. We still have the microphone. And, uh, yeah, a bunch of motion-detecting stuff. I'm gonna equip the binoculars. Oh, no, they're already equipped. Uh. Right, well, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff, because I'm not, I'm not gonna use it. Not even the cigar. Right. Um. We've got a calorie mate, at least. I'm gonna put away the stun grenades for now. Keep the microphone. Camouflage, let's get our face. I mean, we could black up. But, eh, I'll stick with the woodland. I remember as a kid, when I was playing this game, all I wanted to wear was camo stuff, like army pants. I would just, that was all I would wear. And I'm pretty sure I got taken the piss out of at school. Well, not at school, but like, I went to a youth group, and that's all I would wear. Uh, but the th the cool thing about the youth group was it was like set in a church, but outside the church was uh, was like a, a heavily wooded area, and I used to just pretend to be snake. I was sneaking, you know. We used to play manhunt, 
and uh, the camo actually helped me stay hidden quite a lot. So it was it was good fun. It was good. Anyway, we have uh, I think is our first Keratan frog. I think I'm saying that right. If you shoot all of these frogs in the game, you get the stealth camo. Uh, they're really hard to find sometimes, and it's uh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to try and find them all, but. There's one in every area, every specific zone in the game, I think. But yeah, you there's you can either get the stealth camo by getting through the game without an alert, or shooting all the frogs. And I remember trying to do the frogs thing, but it's so difficult later on. There's certain points in the game that are just ridiculous. So I ended up doing it uh, the, the no alert run way. But anyway, I'm just blabbering on. I need to actually get this game, like, progressed. So, we're in Dramuchij North. So this was an area we couldn't have accessed before. This is why I'm getting confused. There's a bunch of fucking snakes in this jungle. I can see two! But I think they're all pythons, so I'm not really that fussed about them. And uh, yeah, at this point there's no enemies really to worry about. Oh look! Was that a fucking horse? Did we just hear a horse, guys? In the jungle? What the hell? Uh, yeah, we have a tree snake there that might drop down on us and scare me. Can I knife it out of the tree? Yes, we can. At least I think it is. Is it, what's it called? A tree snake or a... A green tree python. Okay, close enough. All right, let's see what's causing... I can hear a horse. God damn it. Well, it's a horse. Do you not find this suspicious, Snake? Like, not one bit? Could be a trap. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Wow. All ready? Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? She is fast. No, don't break our gun. Oh, no. That was my only gun. Sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Thanks to you. Boss. I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. <sighs> Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. Ooh, who's 
The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. 60 miles? Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. Oh! If we now, was there any need for that? Kill you. Now, go home. Thought we were friends, horsey. Thought we were friends. I petted you. I tried. Well, that's, uh, I didn't expect to see the boss so soon. This is Snake. Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. That she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Alright, so this is where we have to run, okay? Uh, if you want to avoid an alert, you gotta just get the fuck out of this area. Go back to where we actually started in the Virtuous Mission, which is this way. Because guards will turn up and they will trigger... I'm pretty sure they trigger an alert. Because of the whole, you know, exploding rocket ship thing. Whether... I, you know, I, I keep on thinking, does a caution count as an alert in this game? I, I really don't know, guys. But anyway, we've avoided that, so... I mean, we could explore this place again. I think this is the alligator area, or whatever they call it. More fucking... There's so many pythons, dude, in this game. Yeah, this is the swampland. Not really any point going this way, unless there's like a cool hidden item or something that you get by going back here. I really don't know. Um, But yeah, we don't have a gun right now, so it's probably not too good of an idea to mess with those guys. Right, so now everything should be reset. There will be guards in this area that we'll have to avoid, but for the most part we should be alright, I'm hoping. So I'm going to stay as low as I can. Get out my binoculars. Hmm. Does seem awfully quiet. But in the in the night time it's gonna be even harder to see these dudes, man. So binoculars, let's have a scout ahead. Let's see if we can see Oh yep, I see one. And I'm pretty sure that's the grass there, with the freaking King Cobra. That scared the fuck out of me last time I played. Well, it might have been the time before that, but 
hit it has bitten me so many times, forgetting that it's there. Or is that a bird in there? Oh, there's definitely a bird in there, but I know there's a King Cobra somewhere. Right, let's get a move on. So that's the wreckage. Not that it was really that useful to us. But, uh, but yeah, that was nice of the boss, wasn't it? You know, just let everyone know that I'm here. She's so nice. But at least she didn't break my arm this time. In fact, I'm, a, I'm not injured in any way, am I? No, it's fine. We need to get back to that factory that we found Sokolov in. I know there's a snake in that grass. I just know it. So I'm going to get my knife out. Yeah, commando crawling. I know there's a snake in there. And it's going to scare me. Oh, I'm actually shitting myself right now. I know there's a snake here somewhere. Oh! Oh! I got bit! You little bitch! Fuck! Now I'm poisoned. I knew it! It always gets me! It always gets me! Crap, I need serum. Oh, I have plenty of supplies, that's okay. Where's my serum? Okay, phew. Oh, man. Fucking... Cobras. Right, let's... Should I go that way, or should I continue? I'm gonna stick to the grass, I think. How am I gonna get past these guys? I have to try and use some CQC. Hmm. Let's just check. Is that was that a King Cobra? Am I correct? Because it is poisonous. Oh, sorry, venomous. Yep, knew it. King Cobra. Can't wait to eat that bastard. Right. When's going to be the best time to grab this guy? Because is, is there going to be another dude over that way? I really don't know. I should probably use the... Uh, the goddamn... Sonar and stuff, but... So that will vibrate, I think, when... There's someone nearby. Let's try it. Consumes battery power while used. Right. Mm. I'm going to wait for this guy to get a bit closer and then turn around, hopefully. I'm 85% camo, so he shouldn't see me. Unless he's really close. I'm going to grab this dude. I'm going to do it. Get a little bit closer. Just don't see me. Just don't see me. I'm in the grass. I am one with the foliage. You merely adopted the vegetation. I was born in it. Molded by it. That's it, buddy. Let me grab ya. Ooh, don't turn around. How do I grab people again? I've completely forgot. Alright, oh, there we go. There we go. Right, interrogate. Don't speak. At night, poisonous animals will... Will bite me. Yes, I know. I've, re I've seen this firsthand. Answer me. In the south... The bottom of the swamp. Yeah. What about Don't it? Speak. If our radio man is taken out, contact will be. Why don't you ever finish your goddamn sentences, dude? Right. <laughs> Time to go to sleep, buddy. Right. So there's a radio man somewhere. That if we take him out, he won't be able to call for reinforcements. But. Uh... Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if there is something in that swamp. I can. I can come back here though. 
I just want to get to the factory. While avoiding any other pricks. I'm staying as low as I possibly can. Okay, right, so now we're in the area with the rope bridge. The scene of the crime. The scene of the defection. And uh, before I do this, I'm going to end the video, guys. Next time, we're going to carry on heading towards the factory. I hope you're going to enjoy this playthrough. I cannot wait to really get into the meat of the game. And, uh, yeah, I, I might just look up to see if there's any items we can grab in the earlier areas. But uh, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.